The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? Jeremiah 17, 9. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm gone. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for my brothers and sisters. And I thank you for the day. And I thank you, Lord God, for your spirit boldly within us. Glory to God. Glory to you. And I just ask Holy Spirit that if we're walking in a, any kind of offense, any kind of offendedness, any, any kind of woundedness, that you would begin to heal those things, that those things would be exposed in our lives, and that we would willingly give those things to you and allow you, Lord God, to exchange them for peace, hope, righteousness, healing, Lord God. We just ask for that over my brothers and sisters in Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Good morning. I just declare over you life, and more abundantly life. And... Uh, that you wouldn't be offended, that if you have any offenses in your life, that if you're the offender or the offendee, uh, you can look that up in the dictionary, <laughs> that you would walk in forgiveness either for yourself or others, and uh, that you would uh, allow the Holy Spirit to remove those things in your life, because and my own definition of offend, of offended, or offend, offending, offend, <laughs> offended, um, is pride. And that's really the root of our offenses. Hugs and kisses this morning from the high desert regions. And, uh, so anyway, here's the official definition of offend, offended, offending, resentful or annoyed, typically as a result of a perceived insult, pride. <laughs> I added the pride in there, that was part of, that's my definition of uh, offend. And uh, this morning, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to examine our hearts, root out any wickedness in us, because being offended can carry a lot of things. It's a magnet for a lot of different things. It's a magnet for unforgiveness. It's a magnet to become uh, <clears throat> the offender. To go out and begin to offend. Well, I've been offended. I've been hurt. So it's okay for me to go out and do that. Uh, any number of sins can, can arise from an offense. And uh, if we carry those things, even if nothing else was produced, they produce a weight in us that weighed us down, that keep us subdued, that don't, we're, we're, we don't walk as powerful when we're offended. Our power is stolen by somebody who offended us. We just gave our power right to them, as a sister says. Uh, I can't think of uh, what her name is, but praise the Lord. Um, <clears throat> she put it aptly that, you know, when we let people take our our power, and we just give it away. We don't allow them just to take it. They don't just force it off us. We give it to them, and especially when we're offended. If we're offended, if I'm offended with my friend because of what he said, I've just given him my power. He doesn't know that he offended me. He just skips off and has a great day while I suffer miserably. <coughs> and for many years, many decades, I was a wounded, offended individual. <laughs> and I carried those. And anything that anybody said to me, it was like a magnet. I gave more power. And finally, I was powerless and I was taken to jail. <laughs> you know, my, ch my own child robbed me. I gave my offended, I, she offended me. And I gave power to her. And she had me arrested. And uh, those of you who have been watching the blog for months, you know that uh, that's what brought me back to the Lord, was going to jail. I was accused of assaulting my daughter and, and parental abuse. And I went to court and was fully acquitted. It wasn't true, but, you know, <clears throat> that aside from that point, I gave my authority to my daughter. I've given my authority over myself to many people over the years by carrying these offenses. You would have said something to me if it would have struck me wrong, I would have been offended. Here, have some of my power, you know. 
I'll just walk in unforgiveness and I'll carry this burden. I won't give it to the Lord. And so think about that in your life. I'll ask the Holy Spirit right now, what do I carry in the form of being offended or being an offendor? Am, am I offending other people with what I'm doing? And so, Lord, right now, we should probably ask the Holy Spirit. Let's ask the Holy Spirit before I go any further. Holy Spirit, what in my life is that offense? Am I offended? Am I the offender? And Lord, I just repent for that. Just repent for that. Just ask Him to search your heart. Lately, I've been asking Him to place a guard on my heart and to search my heart to see if there be any wicked ways in me. Because when we carry those things, they become an open soul. We, not only do we give our power away, but we become hurt, and it hurts. You don't want to live because it hurts so much. You want to find a place and just curl up in a ball and shrivel up and die. I mean, I, I, every day I thought about suicide. You know, if I only killed myself, I wouldn't have to feel this. You know, not only was I <coughs> offended, but I was the offender. I offended and I was the offendee. <laughs> and, and glory to God, I'm, I'm, I'm believe, I believe that the Lord has delivered me from that. But there's areas in my life I'm sure that the Lord's going to find and, and reveal them. Once they're revealed and I can hand them to the Lord, He's going to exchange them for beauty. Beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Um, <clears throat> we're righteous in God. He's made us righteous. Our hearts are fully redeemed. But our hearts still live in this husk. And we still have emotions. And we still have beliefs that are false. And we need, the Lord, <laughs> yeah, we need to allow the Lord to do something with that. So make sure you ask the Holy Spirit to search, search me, see if there be any wicked way in me, Lord God. And in Proverbs 19.11, it says, Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. It's my glory to overlook an offense. I could have been offended several times this week, and it's been my glory to overlook those offenses. And just pray through the situation and not be bound by it. And, and I thank God that there's, there's a maturity, there's a grace growing there in me. And I praise Him for that. And then in Psalms 119, 165, it says, Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. Love your word. <laughs> the law... Everything hangs on this. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, with all of your might, with everything you are. And to love your neighbor as yourself. So, when we love that law, when we allow that law of love to dwell boldly in us, we're not going to get offended. We'll be able to overlook those things. It might hit us. I mean, I'm not saying I walk or that when these things came that it wasn't tempting to get to come into agreement with that and here's some more of my power <laughs> but I chose to take a different road I chose to overlook those offenses and not allow them to take me down and we need to begin to do that in our lives if we want to mature in Christ if we want to be people of character and we want to bring glory to our God. We have to grow. And part of growing is getting rid of those offenses. Is releasing those things to the Lord. Whether we've been the offender or the offendee. Whether we've been the guy who sent it out or the guy who received it. Or, or whether we've lived in it for, for our whole lives. And it's just it's like a magnet for things to come our way. And I'll let the Holy Spirit enlighten you on this to speak to you give definition to it in your life because it's not up to me to tell you what you've done or what's been done to you 
It's up to the Holy Spirit to reveal those things. And we got to remember that. You know, if we know things right off the top of our heads that we can we can grab onto, we need to repent of those things. We need to forgive. Not only ourselves, but we need to forgive those, those that committed the offenses. And we may need to forgive God. We need to walk in, in forgiveness. We need to humble ourselves before God in this. And we need to we need to have a banner that says, I don't walk offended. I'm not the offendor, I'm not the offendee. I don't come into agreement with those things. And when somebody tries to offend you or overcome you or rob you of your power, say no. My walk isn't dependent on you, it's dependent on Jesus and keep your eyes on Jesus. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. And then, in, uh, and, and this is to keep things in perspective, because we all have offenses, and our pride will get the better of us, and we'll say, well, they're the one. They're the one. I, I'm good in this. <laughs> in Romans 3.10 it says, as it is written, none is righteous, no, not one. We've all... We've all done the offending, and we've all done, and we've all received the offending. Not, not one of us has lived a perfectly chaste life. None of us are Christ, but Christ is being formed in us. And if we remember that, then, then we're going to have a lot of growth in our lives. And it may not be joyous times, but when we come through those times, the closer we get to the Father, the more we become like Jesus, the stronger we become, the more power we retain, the more powerful we walk, the more the more the kingdom of God is formed in us, the more that city is built within us. The Holy One, the Holy Spirit wants to build within you in the name of Jesus. And you have to believe that. And you have to see that in others. You have to see Christ being formed in others. If you if you don't, then, then chances are you're walking offended. Offend and <laughs> you are offending. If you're offended, you're offending. Because it, it, it it's being an offense is like it spreads. It's like a napalm bomb. It hits something and it spreads out and causes fires everywhere it goes. And a spirit of offense, if we walk in that spirit and we come into agreement with that spirit, we are bound and other things begin to grow. Other, other strongholds begin to pop up. And really the root of it is pride. And we, we need to, I'm going to say this again, allow the Holy Spirit to search those areas of our lives that we don't feel comfortable with. But we need to have Him open those areas up so they can be exposed to light, so they can get healed and filled with His life. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you. This isn't a message of condemnation. It's a message of life and hope. And I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me this morning. Bless your morning. Thank you, Lord, for my brothers and sisters. I thank you for this word. I thank you, Lord God, that you are life in us, that we do carry the kingdom of God within us, that we carry the kingdom of heaven within us, that we walk in your life, that we are clean by your blood, Lord God, that we, there is no condemnation, that you are our strength, Lord God, that we walk in your grace, and it's not by anything that we do, it's by everything that you did, Jesus, and I ask Holy Spirit that you would just manifest that in our lives right now, beginning right now in Jesus' name. It, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And let that be our battle cry. And I just ask Holy Spirit that you would heal those that are walking in that offense, that are holding on to that and saying, you don't understand. God, you understand. You understand Jesus. You understand you've been through everything that a man could, be, and could go through. And so, Lord, I just ask that you just look at their hearts and reveal within us those things that, 
you find unsavory that don't belong to you that you want to get rid of. Heal our hearts, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> I got a new pick lot yesterday. I got something. I'm waiting on my new guitar to come in. I don't know if it'll sound better than this one, but here's my new pick. I don't know if you can see it very good, but it says Alice on it. It's kind of cool. I like I like playing with picks. I'm just gonna kind of hop around this one. I'm not gonna. Step 
step out in faith. See ya.